Hi guys, so oh my gosh, do I have something exciting. Well, at least I'm excited. Um, I recently got into like the hobby of playing um, like Atome games. And if you don't know what Atome games are, they are like, um, like Japanese visual novels that are, are targeted towards um, girls <clears throat> that are about dating boys. Um, I hope it makes sense. But so I recently kind of got into playing those games. Um, there's only like a handful of them that are available like on PC. Um, I don't know a lot about like the history of them, but as far as I know, like the oldest ones that I know of were made for like the PlayStation 1. And then, um, so, and then when like the PlayStation Portable came out and then the PS Vita, those kind of became the main platform, um, for playing these games. So, uh, I have the ones that are available on PC, but there are some classics that are just, you just can't get that way. So, um... And I just finished playing Hakuoki Kyoto Wins this morning. So I'm super excited for this. I mean, I still have to play Edo Blossoms, but I'm super excited for this because I went on Amazon and I spent $400 and I got uh, a PS Vita and a bunch of games and stuff to go with it. And it's awesome. And I'm really excited. And I've got my scissors here and I want to open it up together because I'm just... Um, it's just a, you know, um, a monumental time in my life for me. So this is the, here's my PS Vita. Let's get a little closer here. Um, I took off the customs form that was on top, but this was really awesome because it came from Japan. This is a Jap uh, Japanese import. Um, so I thought it would take a while to get here, but it actually came in two days. And I had to sign for it. So I'm going to put whoever I bought that from down below because it was not directly from Amazon. It was from a different seller um, through Amazon. So like I'll, I'll put it down below because I have no idea right now. But it was awesome. Um, it felt like it got to me very safe, which is important when you spend so much money on something. Um, so here we are. Let's open this. I'm... I literally... I had so much trouble. I was trying so hard because I have like one more package coming with like a case for this. I was trying so hard to wait for it to make this video, but I just can't. I can't. I'm not patient enough. I want to play. All right. I'm afraid I'm going to rip this box. I need to use it for something later. Jeez. I'm literally so excited, you guys. This is like a new hobby for me, and like I love it a lot, and I spend a lot of time playing these games and stuff. And it's like kind of expensive because all the like really high quality games are ones that are made like commercially, you know? Like indie games that might be free on like game jolt or something they're just like not they're good but they're not of the same quality as these ones they don't have the same charm you know so oh my god here we go i got the white one i know there's a pink one and oh my god did i want to get the pink one but um it was 200 dollars more <laughs> And, you know, I'm not, I mean, I am that bitch, but I'm not that bitch, you know? So, oh, here, I might have some info for you about what the, who the seller was. Um, premium Japan, I suppose. So if you're looking to buy one of these and you're worried about it getting to you safe, um, premium Japan on Amazon will express ship it to you and it'll be really lovely so here it is ps vita in glacier white from japan can you see it i'm gonna stop and zoom in 
Sorry, you guys, I probably sound frantic. I'm literally so excited about this. So here we are. The whole thing is in Japanese. However, I know that you can just um, like set the language and whatever, and it's basically the same as having the English one. And this way I can have a um, account on the Japanese like um, game store because you can't you can't the ps vita isn't backwards compatible so you can't play the psp games on it which a lot of really high quality otome games work um for the psp so i will be able to get those from the store though but you have to i think you have to have a japanese account for some of them i'm not sure i think you can have both okay so this is all in japanese but I think I know how to get myself around um, a gaming console at this point in my life. I mean, it's been a while. I have a lot of them, so. <laughs> this, these are funny. That's interesting. We don't have we don't have stuff like that in. English packaging. And here it is. Here's the baby boy himself. The PS Vita Wi-Fi in Glacier White. Oh, hi, there's me. Um, wow, it's smaller than I thought it would be. I've never held one of these in my hands before. There it is. Um, oh my gosh, the buttons are so tiny. Okay, I'm really excited <laughs> right now. And then here is, um, I guess these are the pieces of the power cable. Can we get this on right now? Does it have any charge in it? I can't read. I cannot read Japanese. It looks like here it, that there was or should be a film on the screen, but I don't see it. So that's okay. Let's turn it on. Okay, I probably need to charge this. Please give me one second. Okay, so the Vita is charging and we will turn it on together. But I do have more things to show you because I bought um, some games and some other things. And I already mentioned that there is one other package on its way that is a case um, that is supposed to come with a, a screen protector also. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So this is not for the PS Vita. This is for my Switch, but I'll show it to you anyways. This is... It's a hard case for my Nintendo Switch. It's Sumiko Garashi. And I got um, a matching games case that is on its way. So, cool and fun. Um, I have kind of like a character theme for each of my like portable electronics. My 3DS is all Rilakkuma. Um, and now my Switch. I'm gonna have all matching Sumiko Garashi things. I don't have anything planned for this yet. It's just kind of pink and here we are. <laughs> so let me show you what I got, friends, because holy cannoli, I spent a lot of money. <laughs> um, and I don't know a lot about these things. So first off, these are cases for the games. I did not buy a memory card because I didn't have enough money at the time. I have money now, but I thought, you know, first I'll just buy the physical games and then later I can get the memory card for when I um, am ready to start playing from the PSP game. So it's just a tiny little, it's very small, but you can fit the game cards in here. And there's two of them in the pack. Okay, so what's here? Oh my God. Um, I bought four games here. 
um, that are all, I believe they're all considered Otome games, and I've heard about all good things about all of them. <sighs> I don't, I don't know where to start with these. Uh, here's Caller X Malice. I've never spoken to anyone about these things, so I don't know how to tell you, like, the names, if it, and if I'm saying them correctly. This one's, sorry guys, my phone ran out of space, so I was talking about this one. Um, I think I've, I genuinely, I don't know much about what these games are um, about. The protagonist is a rookie cop working in Shinjuku, a city that has become unsafe after a series of violent crimes known as the X-Day incidents. La, she's unwittingly become the key to unlocking the mystery of these horrendous crimes, but who's in control of her life and can Shinjuku ever be returned to its tranquil past? So I think these are the boys. I think there's only five, which is pretty standard. And I don't know anything about them, so that's gonna be awesome. Um, I just realized my phone is upside down. <laughs> Please hang on. Okay, so that's that one. And then here's um, Seven Scarlet. Is it supposed to sound like Seven Scarlet? Seven Scarlet? Um, I'm not sure. This one's only rated teen. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that all of these are from Axis, which is like, um, I didn't know anything about like which games to get, so I just kind of looked for the most popular Axis ones. Um, this one is, um, blah, blah, blah. She re today she returns determined to find the answers. Her childhood friend Hino and the members of the cryptic Okune Zato Supernatural Club offer their assistance in tracking down the town's legends, but only she can separate rumors from reality. So, um, I don't know anything about this one either, but it says Summer of Mystery. Oh, that's something else, but whatever. Oh, there's a, there's a character card inside? That's cool. Okay, and I think these are the five boys, which is, again, pretty, wait, one of seven. Okay, no, I think it's these five boys and that there must be two other characters that you can get a character card of. That's cool! Woohoo! This one doesn't have anything like that, does it? There's no card inside, right? That's so fun. That's so fun. Okay, and then this one's Code Realize. I think there's like a bunch of different like code whatever games. Um, is there a bunch of different Code Realize games? I'm, I'm really unclear on this. I'm very unclear on this series and how it works. This one is Guardian of the uh, Guardian of Rebirth. Excuse me, I cannot speak. Um, and this one, um, again, I am not certain what this one is about, but I looked at the art style. I thought it was kind of fun. Here are the five boys. Pretty standard, five boys. Um, so there's that. And the last one is Nor 9 Var Commons. That, that is a little bit difficult to say. Um, I heard really, really good things about this one. I do like the art style a lot. I like even just the appearance of the box quite a bit. Um, a boy is swept away to a different time by the notes of a certain song. Blah, blah, blah. I heard that this one Am I thinking of the right one? This one is about like a city where like the ultra high class get to hang out in like this glass sphere garden or something. Please forgive me because that's probably not what it's about at all, but I'm gonna find out. Apparently it has sexual themes, so spicy spicy, my friends. Um, none of the others say that even the one that's rated m says mild sexual themes so mm, okay but so those are these i kind of want to open seven scarlet up just to see the card um because i'm really curious about that and i don't but i don't know anything about these boys so i don't know if i'm gonna like whichever boy but i feel like we need to open one of these games up on camera the reason i got the games case is because um I do like to take my games out of the cases and keep them, like out of the store, 
you know, out of out of these and keep them all together so that I can carry a bunch of them with me at a time. And then I have a shelf here where I keep all the cases and stuff. So why is this so difficult? Here we go. So lads, I've never even played on a PS Vita before. So here, let's find out what's inside. Oh wait, do we get all seven? Guys. Oh my God, I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> Should we open this? I'm really curious about this. Purchase three games and send in receipts to receive your exclusive three pin set. Like three Axis games? Cause I just bought four. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't I don't know where I hit the camera. So this thing says if you purchase three games and send in receipts to receive, customers must buy all three designated titles. Psychedelia of the Black Butterfly, Seven Scarlet, uh, Boo! Does it mean this is a mystery game? Guys, I didn't do any research. I just like trusted in the world and the forums I was reading and stuff. I wish I knew the names of these boys so I could tell you more about like what I'm... You can get those pins if you buy all the games. So I think this is the protagonist. She's cute. I like her. Here's um, a Hino, I suppose. I don't, I don't know these boys yet, so <laughs> we're learning this together. Um, and they all have the same back. Here's this boy. He looks fun. I like him. And uh, I guess this is probably the glasses character, huh? He looks like a fucking dweeb, I love him. Oh, but there's another gla two glasses characters, and his name his name is Sosuke. I feel like in um, media recently, in in Japanese media recently, that characters named Sosuke tend out tend to be good. So we'll see. Um, this this fool seems like my type, knowing myself. Okay. And this boy. Oh, geez. I don't know anything about these dudes. That's fun, though, that you get all those. I love it! And I can just tuck them right there. Yay! <laughs> um, let's test out how this fits in the game case. Oh my god, I've never handled one of these. I don't know how, like, weak they are or anything. <laughs> The reason I got two of the game cases, despite that like I don't have many games, is because it was cheaper than all the other options. So, which way does this go? Does it go like this? Yeah, okay. And then it's like that. Fun! Fun in the sun. So I guess I'll have to play Seven Scarlet first out of all of these. Okay, let's put that aside and see if we can get this boy to turn on. I don't know if there will be enough charge in it. Okay. Oh, jeez, I'm so excited. Jeez Louise. Oh. Um. Okay, I speak English. Wow. Should we go down here? Oh yeah, I'm in Tokyo, Tokyo time. No, um, I am in Chicago. I think I'm minus six. 
The song is so cute! <laughs> um, yep. Oh, and I forgot to mention that on the Japanese ones, um, you know, if you are, like, from the U.S. or, like, Canada, at least, that the X is usually select and circle is back, but it's the opposite on the Japanese system, but you can switch it. Um, I didn't even realize. So today is 2018. It's August. What day is it? The 7th? It's August 7th, and it is... Okay, hi guys, I'm here. Um, I don't know if you, how well you can see this. I skipped some of this stuff because I had to put in passwords and things. But here we are. Um, I don't need to restrict nothing, okay? Oh, what's this? Okay, I didn't know it had a touch screen, so that's really fun. Um, okay, so I don't have a memory card yet, so I can't download, you know, any of the games from like the store or anything which is really unfortunate but it's just how life is it's just how life goes and happens and things or are we done now oh yes um i read it naturally i read it this is the home screen. The home screen is where you start applications. Tap welcome park icon to begin. Hey, here we are. So this is the PS Vita. I'm gonna, you know, leave and do my stuff. The thing is, I don't have a case to put it in and I do worry about things like this when you travel and stuff, um, having a case to put it in. So I have this Ipsy bag that it might fit in, but there's one other thing. Wait, no, I don't think it's gonna fit in the other thing. So let's see if it fits. No, I'm a fool. I will probably have to buy some kind of case for this, like a hard case. I saw a really cute Rilakkuma one online that I might have to go for. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys had fun seeing all these things with me. I'm going to um, probably splice in me putting, like when I get my case, putting it on, and then I have some stickers I'm gonna put on it and stuff. But so for this round of filming, that's it for me. So, bye. Um, okay, I know I said I was done, but like just a quick update. Um, I've decided that this one will be just um, little twin stars themed because um, the stickers I was going to put on the case are already little twin stars and then I f found this background for it. And then also I found out that this fits in here which I got from the um, Sugar Pill Little Twin Stars collaboration. So I can keep this in here, you know, with these. And I think the charger will fit in here also. So that is perfect for me. Okay, cool.